Hey Pisces, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. We're going to go ahead and hop into your reading, see what's happening with you and the person on your mind right now. Stay tuned because towards the end of the reading, I'll start getting into what I see happening next. And that part of the reading will be on Vimeo. Okay. And the link for that is in the description or at the top of the comments. All right, Pisces. So sorry, y'all. I'm a little congested. <clears throat> Hopefully it won't be too much of a bother in the reading. Okay. All right, here we go. Pisces. Pisces. Can you show me how Pisces and their person are moving forward together right now? Universe or spirit. How are Pisces and the person on their mind? How are Pisces and the person on their mind? How are they moving forward together right now? Pisces, person on their mind. Okay. We have the runner. Sorry, I know it's a little bit of a glare. I don't want to run anymore. Space, Pisces, this could be you taking space away from your person. You need more time to think. And I feel like this is probably a person neglected. I feel to give you what you need. All right. So what I'm getting right away and I have to pull more cards. It's like, I feel like you and this person, you're not running away from, you're not running away. Okay. So, you know, with you Pisces, I see you still, you know, you're, you're thinking about things, maybe even taking space, but you're not necessarily running from what's happening here in this connection and your person, I feel, I feel this is like them acknowledging, um, maybe like what it says, acknowledging areas where they could have done better in the connection with you, where they could have given more in this connection. Okay. Okay. Let's see. For a number of you, you may actually be um, like a runner. <laughs> not, not like the, you know, the runner chaser type of, no, like a literal, like somebody who runs, who jogs, who uh, runs outdoors. And you could be somebody who, like I'm getting... You know, this may resonate for a few of you, right? The odds are high that you run and you think about the situation. You know, you're outside running and you're just, or even just working out. Like this is the situation that I'm getting here. Um, I'm here actually like running, running through your mind, running through your mind. Okay. Like you're both on each other's minds. Okay. Let's see. Um, clarify. Clarify how uh, this person is showing up for Pisces right now. Okay. The Stingray. So, <clears throat> okay, Stingray usually, there's a lot of growth whenever this comes in. Your person is feeling, they even have the golden egg and the cobra, all right? So it's like they're sensing like, okay, it's a time for change. It's a time for change in order to have a new start with Pisces. 
a stingray usually indicates discomfort. You know, your person could be, they're, they're going through a period of time where they may be releasing um, karmic, they're ending karmic cycles, letting go of friends, family, people, habits, things that no longer serve them because they, you know, your person, there's something about them entering a new cycle in their life. Okay. Ending chapters. This is kind of like trending for a lot of the signs. Okay. So, but I feel like this is an association with you, Pisces. Like this person is leaving behind old ways, patterns, people in order to start something new with you. Okay. Okay. Hold on. How is Pisces showing up here for who this is right now? Okay, the deer, the elk wanted to come up with you too. Look, you all have, both have the golden egg here. It's interesting because I was going to say, Pisces, there could be something here that you have done or you're doing or you're saying to who this is that is triggering this new um How do I want to like this new start that your person is getting this like, um, hold on. I'm trying to articulate my, my thoughts here. I got already before I started pulling cards on you that there's something here that maybe you're inspiring this person to make a transition. All right. To do something different. There's changes that you have made. You have changed with the butterfly energy Pisces and your transformation, your growth is inspiring this person to make changes. Okay. To step outside of their comfort zone. I'm getting that. Um, and I definitely get, there's a conversation that's waiting to like happen between you two with you both showing up with the golden egg. Golden egg talks about a message that isn't heard yet, but it's there. Okay. Um, so you got the deer, the elk wanted to come out for you too. Got the deer Pisces. So the deer is like very feminine, motherly energy. So that could resonate with that part uh, in, in terms of you here, Pisces. Like you're very concerned right now. That seems to be maybe your primary focus are your children, your child, some sort of, uh, you know, a lot of you may be a mom or there's something about a mother figure here, something about your family that seems to be of primary concern. You're taking on a very like, motherly maternal role. Okay. So I get that. I feel like you're very protective of your heart too. You're yeah. Concerned and protective again, over family and your heart space. Okay. You're operating from the heart. I can see that. Let's see. Clarify how Uh, how does this person show up for Pisces right now?
Ten of Swords. So, <clears throat> got Gemini. Three of Wands. So this is, this is the, you know, energy that I'm seeing your person moving out of. Okay. Like there is a level, you know, obviously with the 10 of swords, there's a feeling of pain, um, hurt. Okay. I don't know if this has to do with you or not. 10 of swords is also a card of betrayal, feeling betrayed. Okay. However, they have the three of wands as well. So there's still something here that this person wants to manifest with you, Pisces. Okay. There's still something here. They're waiting to happen with you. Maybe it's a conversation, you know, like I said, there's a, there's a conversation waiting to happen here between you two. All right. I do get for a number of you, this person feels invested in the connection with you for sure. With the neglected energy that I was getting, if that resonates, like if this is somebody from your past Pisces, It's hurting them right now. This is something I'm getting for some of you that I feel like I need to share with you. It hurts them right now the way that they hurt you. So I feel like some of you should know that. It hurts them the way that they hurt you in the past. Okay? For some of you, this may have to do with karma. This person could be receiving some karma here, or there's some self-inflicted pain that they are going through right now because they need to just, um, well, I don't know. I don't know if they need, they do sense like they're uncomfortable possibly because they're putting themselves through this. Some of you may resonate with that where you're like, yeah, it's not you know, you, Pisces, you may feel like, Hey, I've, I've done the work. I've tried talking this, that, and the third. So if that resonates for you, this person is kind of putting themselves through this pain. They're sitting there. Um, sometimes this is a bit of a victim type of energy. I'm not saying that for all of, all of, you know, them, whoever this is, but for some of you, yes, this person is still in like this victim mentality, this feeling of being victimized and the growth comes in when they come out of that and talk and open up. All right. For some of you, this Ten of Swords has nothing to do with you. This is something that they're dealing with right now. There's a, there's some sort of painful experience that this person is dealing with, okay? And trying to overcome, all right? Clarify how Pisces is showing up here for who this is. Okay. The Six of Pentacles. Okay. So for a number of you, like either you're trying to be fair with who this is, you know, Even with the butterfly, some of you, if you know that this person is going through some sort of transition, you may be in the space where you're like, I understand that. I understand you're going through some sort of change. So, all right, I will, you know, I think you're trying to be fair with who this is, 
trusting the process. Um, I am getting some disappointment with you all with the five of cups, Pisces. Mm. Trying to be fair. A number of you, Pisces, you may have somebody else that's um, interested in you as well with the nine of pentacles and the lovers. All right. I actually feel like this is you with the nine of pentacles. Um, I'm kind of getting this vibe, Pisces, like I'm just getting your heart chakra all lit up. Okay. Your heart chakra is very lit up and, um, I try to make it make sense. Right. And so you're very, you know, attractive right now. Okay. If you're thinking about a deer, think about the hunter, you're being hunted. I'm not trying to say it like that, but, <laughs> um, you are like, you're in this place. I feel like you know it. That's I'm getting this, that nine of pentacles energy is you. So highly attractive, highly sought after right now. Okay. And I think that you're aware of it. You can look at the, you know, those big doe eyes. So a lot of you are looking really, really good. I'm hearing like you're in your prime. Okay. Someone, there may be someone for you all in particular. So I'm just going to say, I don't know. This could be this person or somebody else. There's someone in particular here who you have a primary interest in. Okay. So I'm getting that for some of you. I'm hearing like you're single for a lot of you. You're single. You're not taken yet, but you're like right there. Like you're seeing somebody maybe that has, there's, there's a lot of potential. So this person could be from your past coming in. And again, you feel bad. You feel bad about the way things are, are happening here. It's the energy of feeling conflicted, right? Yeah. But some of you may be kind of hiding the fact that you are already, you're like seriously entertaining somebody else. Okay. I am getting that. But you could be trying to be nice to who this is. And you're like, you know, I'll give you a little bit of conversation, this, that, and the third. Um, so maybe this person had, you know, somebody, some sort of tragic event here and you're trying to be kind. That's why you show up as the deer, six of pentacles. Hey, you're trying to be nice, yada, yada, yada. However, you know, for some of you, your, your primary focus is that could be why you're showing up as concerned. Like, I think there's somebody here that I'm getting with you, Pisces, you really like. And you want to make sure you're taking care of, um, taking care of home, taking care of things and people that are, you know, special to you right now. Um, people that take care of you. It's like, you want to take care of people that take care of you. Um, I kind of get whoever this is, they could be from the past and you're trying to be nice. You're trying to be friendly to who this is. I'm, um, you know, that's for some of you here. Okay. Not all of you. Um, clarify who this person is. Universe or spirit. How is this person showing up? Pisces right now. Date and heartbroken. Okay. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving or mourning. So there goes that whole 10 of swords energy that I'm getting. Um, meet someone new. 
dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. So I feel like for a number of you, this person wants to plan, like they're wanting to plan or set a date with you here. That's why you have the six of pentacles. Maybe some of you are open to that Pisces, right? If you're still dating, even if you're dating someone very seriously, you could be open to hearing this person out, talking to who this is. Okay. Clarify how Pisces is showing up here. Self-indulgence wanted to come out. Hold on. How's Pisces showing up? Hmm. You have abundance and the chaser. I do. I am feeling that abundance energy with you with that nine of pentacles. It's kind of like, look at, look at the like money showers, right? But I'm getting like when it rains, it pours. So listen, if this doesn't resonate, yet, but you like the reading, let's say it doesn't resonate for you at all. Maybe you should own this reading, right? Because <laughs> this is like, that's what I was getting with you being in this very abundant energy. It's like, you're very, you're attracting things that you like. You're attracting things that get your heart going. All right. Things that you're passionate about. Even if it's been in the past, you seem to have manifested something coming in that's fair to you. It's just, okay, with the six of pentacles. Now you also have the chaser though. So this is what I was getting with you with that lover's energy, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. And there's the deer, there's the mother. So there's a couple of things here. You're not wanting to abandon somebody, something. You're not wanting to abandon a situation. Um, you're, you're, that's okay. That's like the biggest message. Like you're not wanting to abandon someone, you know, when I saw that lovers, like some of you are connected very deeply to somebody else here. And maybe even, you know, it could be that it's not even official yet, or maybe it is, you know, cause it, you know, codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. Um, for some of you, I'm feeling guilt. Like there's this sense of guilt, maybe like you feel guilty for, you know, if this person has come in, you feel guilty for talking to who this is or something like that, Pisces. And that's where this like very motherly energy comes in. All right. Coco, speaking of motherly energy. Um, whew, Pisces, this person is in their head about you. And you have the moon. This hasn't, for some of you, this has not happened yet. Okay, Pisces. And here's what I'm getting. For those of you that this has not happened yet, it will happen, first of all, because <laughs> you have abundance here. Okay, so. But the place that you're in is very much like, it's about divine timing. That's what I get with a number of you. You're in this place where Whoever is supposed to come in, this is not for all of you. This is only for those of you that resonate with this. Okay. I got to keep saying that shit. There are those of you that are very big on alignment and manifesting for your highest good and understand divine timing. All right. So there are those of you that where you're like, listen, 
if this is for me and this is you Pisces right here, you're, you're sitting here like, if this is for me and I feel like your intuition is on point, you're like, my intuition is telling me that this person is coming in and they are. So you're just like, I feel like Pisces, you're like, I'm not really going to put a whole lot of effort there. If this person comes in, they come in and we'll go from there. That's what I'm getting with you. Okay. I feel like whoever this is, they can't get you off their mind. <laughs> um, they got to deal with that part first. All right. Remember I said they're, re they're realizing like in hurting you, they're hurting themselves. They've hurt themselves. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. All right. Feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If that helps, if that resonates. Okay. Um, let's pull the cards for what I see happening next. How do Pisces and the person on Pisces mind? How do these two move forward together next universe or spirit? How do Pisces and the person on Pisces mind? How do these two move forward together next, please? How do these two move forward? Together? Okay. That's way too much. How do these two move forward together next? Okay. Mend. Look at my face. I want to fix our connection. <laughs> Sorry. There was an image on the frequency that I'm listening to two people coming together as I like, I just happened to glance over and look at that. Is that the moon too? Yep, that is the moon. Okay. Clarify. How are Pisces and their person on their mind? How are these two moving forward together next? Wow. The sun and the ace of wands. Well, I'll be damned. Wow. Okay. Talk about the heart chakra. Look at the Knight of Cups. There you are. Wow. Top of the deck, the lovers. <laughs> That's why I'm like, Pisces, even if this doesn't, even if you're like, this doesn't make sense. Like for me, I'm just saying, if I click on a reading and I'm listening to something and it's sounding really good, but I'm like, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't, if you clicked on it, then clearly something about the vibration match. So why not just like get into that shit? You know what I mean? And be like, well, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm here for it. Right. If you like it, why not just own the fact that that's what you want to happen? And Hey, I clicked on it. Cause that's, what's going to happen. I don't know. Um, clarify how do Pisces and this person move forward together next universe source spirit. How do these two move forward together next? Okay. Date. There you go. Meeting someone new, date, get back out there, plan, set a date. I feel like a date is being planned here, right? Ace of Wands, the Sun, Mend. We've got a date. Come on now. Maybe I'll name this a date with destiny. Mm -hmm. One of y'all's names is Destiny. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So. Could be a Leo coming in. We'll see. Pisces, I'm going to stop this here and continue this on Vimeo. If you felt like this reading resonated and you want to watch part two of this, where we're going to go over a whole bunch of stuff, including, you know, outcomes, advice, time, give you a timeline of things. Click the link below in the description, top of the comments. We'll finish the reading there on Vimeo. Okay. If this is where we part ways, Pisces, love you guys. Take care of yourselves. I wish you the best with everything and I'll see you all soon. Peace.